Omicron's variants are gaining ground and some are asking if they recently recovered from one variant, can they still get infected with another? So we bring in our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy this afternoon. And Dr. Nandy, how much is cross protection? How much does that play a role? And Glenn, I get this, uh, this question asked by a lot of people. Unfortunately, there are quite a few mutations between some of the Omicron variants. Oh. So someone who was infected with a BA2 lineage, for example, is likely not protected against BA4 or BA5. Also, the new variants are very good at overcoming immunity, regardless if that immunity came from vaccines, a prior infection, or both. On the positive side, though, infectious disease experts say there is less of a chance of getting reinfected with BA4 after being infected with BA5 or vice versa. And that's because these two variants share some key mutations. But how quickly you can get reinfected with any variant depends on a few factors like how old you are, how strong your immune response is, right? And, and also how much time has passed since the first infection. And also how much time has passed since you were fully vaccinated and boosted. While there are no definitive studies regarding how long immunity lasts, experts predict protection against reinfection is somewhere around a couple of weeks to a month, depending on the variant and the factors I mentioned before. So, Doc, with more people approved for that fourth booster, should they wait to get it if they're in a low-risk area, you know, maybe fall time or now? Yeah, big question, right? So here's what, here's what I will say. I know that there's booster fatigue, right? A lot of people do not want to get boosters and want to, want to maybe wait. Now, some people may think that a booster is useless because they're less effective against Omicron and immunity decreases quicker than before, but they still provide protection, in my opinion, against severe disease and death. Right now, there's an average of 300 deaths per day from COVID-19. 300 deaths for some people may not sound like a lot, but get this, the virus is killing more than twice the number of Americans that are dying daily of, of from suicide or car crashes. And those most at risk are adults age 65 and up. In fact, they account for a larger share of deaths this year than last year. Plus, unvaccinated people are still dying at a significant higher rate than vaccinated people. So it's never too late to me to get vaccinated and boosted. Everyone age five and above can get their first booster after they're fully vaccinated. And if adults who are 50 and up as well, as well as people who are 12 and above who are moderately or severely immunocompromised, and they're eligible to get their second booster because, Glenda, they're at high risk of getting complications. So I still think getting vaccinated and getting boosted is the best way to prevent hospitalization and death. All right, Dr. Danny, we saw a lot of little tears today, but we're, we're moving toward one goal. Yeah, we're excited to get our two-year-old vaccinated, too. Okay. Thank you, Doc. My pleasure. All right. Okay. And if you have a health question for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com. You can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him.